So how bad was that accident you mentioned? Oh, uh, more scary than anything. It was right outside the bank. Did anyone get hurt? Yeah, a couple scratches and bruises, nothing serious. As you walk to the club, Auburn Nam, she gives you a warm smile. You're looking very smart tonight, I approve. That doesn't mean I'm going to do any drinking. Boo. Yeah, you ain't got me. It's been so long since I've been... It's been so long since I've been here. Doesn't seem the same without soccer dancing on the pole. Just thinking about it makes me giddy. Yeah, great. She growls next... Oh, she growls next to you convincingly like a tiger. Ha, <laughs> you're insatiable. Ha <laughs> ha. It's her fault. She pouts at you cutely before any blood goes rushing to where it shouldn't. You distract her. Sure, sure. May I have this dance? Give her your smarmiest smile and she and she rolls her eyes. Just try to keep up, Tomo. Alright, buddy. Time to cut a rug, bud. Time to, time to get jiggy with it. Let's get down, alright? She takes your hand and pulls you into the writhing mass of bodies. You're assaulted by the smell of booze and sweat. Yeah, that's a pretty cool picture. Calling it dancing would be doing the word in injustice. These are people bumping and grinding, jumping and pounding the rhythm of the, of the music. Seeing everyone in the various states of elucidation and undress is not doing anything to help. I could grind up against you growling over the sound of the music at the prompting of your stiffness. In an all-around crazy dance, you're immediately glad that you aren't drinking too. Ha, enjoying yourself? Maybe. Maybe just a little too much. Pardon? What? You can't hear each other over the noise of the club. Iko leans in to wrap her arms around you, places her lips into your ear. I asked if you were enjoying yourself. Her breath takes your ear, tickles your ear, her body presses against you. It's as hot as a burning forge, and you can smell the perfume and sweat coming off her skin. Of course. You're both gasping for breath as Iko pushes you against a wall, pressing your skin together. Ow, okay, calm down. Hey, I'm hurt here. You did well in there. Her chest is heaving up and down against yours. Against you. Your tongue feels heavy, stealing any chance of speaking away from you. You give her a nod in response. Uh, how, uh... What? She, <laughs> she wiggles her hips like an excited kitten, and your manhood becomes self-aware again. Hey, what's going on out there? <laughs> Anybody fucking... <laughs> Oh my god. Despite the position and the location, you can't help but get excited. Tomo? Yeah? Thanks for coming out tonight. I had a good time. Yeah, me too. We're not done yet, I don't think. Me too. I need, a, I need to unwind. You can only hope that the dancing and grinding haven't caused you to pull any muscles. There's a twinkle in Aiko's eye, and she adjusts the collar. Her eyes looking glazed over and hungry. A deep pit of fire opens up in your stomach, and you've got a sneaking sp suspicion. You know what's about to happen. You can't tell whether it's real or hallucination. You're not sure you care what it is, regardless. The way your hands feel on your chest as she presses in closer feels real to you, and that's all that matters. Is it really? I don't know. I've been with... I've been... Tell me you've been with this girl for how long? Nah, dude. Don't do it. Bro, it's gonna get crazy. Don't do it. You take a deep breath, planting your hand on, on her head and giving her a smile. You're a little discon disconcerted by the ache in your noggin. I should play it safe. You should. You should, Tomo. I need. I needed the break. Thanks for being worried about me. Aiko hums curiously for a moment, then tips toes over to give you a peck in the cheek. Tell you what, Tomo. I've got to go quickly powder my nose. You should go back out there and wait. Promise I'll be right out. You give her a warm smile and leave. You take a seat on the stool and close your eyes, leaning up against the wall as you try to shut out the music. The bass is pounding through the wall and into your body, like waves on the beach. It's almost relaxing. You look adorable, but please don't fall asleep here, Tomo. Someone will pick your pockets. You open your eyes and groan. A slightly more sober-looking relaxed Aiko is leaning over you with a grin. How long was I out of it? Like, not too long. I wouldn't worry about it. I think it's time we went back now, though. Hmm, I guess you're right. You roll over your shoulders and slide off the seat as you look around. The place is starting to wind down and, che and check your phone confirms that it's very, very late. Wow, are we dancing for hours? I'm sure I'll feel in the morning. Crap, so will I. Feeling better then? What do you mean? I'm not kidding when I say you seem pretty out of it lately. 
You were distracted during pageant week too. Dude, it's the stress. It's the stress. Tomo's losing his goddamn mind. I can't, I mean, proof already. I'm sorry I haven't worried you. Sorry to have worried you. It was terrifying when you gra when your grand collapsed, you know? We don't want to be alone and scared again. Oh, get over it. <laughs> Telling you that I'm currently unwell wouldn't be a good move. I won't let that, ha I won't let that happen, even though I just got hit by a car. Aiko yawns and links arms with you while you walk. She smiles faintly. Wait, who the hell put me out of the, who the hell pushed me out of the way? I had a good time. Even though you passed out on me. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. It's fine, relaxing is important. Yep. You collapse onto bed, weakly scrounging up a couple of painkillers to, to dull the throbbing in your head. I wonder if it'll be able to handle another day of hallucinations. Probably not. I mean I was doing Spectacular. Your entire body feels sore and run down. You check your phone with a groan. Oh, from Yuki. Play it safe and don't forget to help out Chiasa tomorrow. Chiasa's here? She signed up to teach swimming lessons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chiasa. <laughs> <laughs> I remember her. Ah, uh, sure. You send a reply, but your body is already fighting the need to sleep. Plus, it's, it's, it's very late. Technically early in the morning. Ugh. Well, that's great. Shaz is here. A knock on the door draws you out of your dreamless sleep. Oop. A lurching in your stomach makes you want to run to the bathroom. However, you hold it down. Though that may partly be because you wake so much that you probably can't get up. Hello? You call out loud enough to be heard from the door, and you hear a quiet voice respond. <laughs> Tomo, are you alright? I am Chiasa, entering your room. Yeah, I'll see you at the food court in a bit. Okay, if you're sure. Instead of taking your time to carefully climb out of the bed, you all but leap out just to get it over with. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Gah! Your back and abdomen legs are all scream out as you roll off your bed and stand up. You take a few deep breaths and glad you haven't fallen over. Good start. Afterwards, you gulp down a few painkillers, washing them down with an energy drink from your mini-fridge. Your stomach rolls around a little, but after a dangerously hot shower, a dangerously hot shower, and a half of an hour of relaxation, half an hour of relaxation, you're feeling okay. This should be an interesting day, at least. I'm almost going to collapse to death. Are you a deer? What the hell is... Sorry for waking you, Tomo. How do you like my... La lingerie? She asks her shyly twiddles her fingers. It may be the most adorable thing ever. Cats. Is that what she is? She's a cat? Cats. Pardon? Sorry, still have a sleep. I had a dream about cats. Oh, okay. I love cats. Yeah, no kidding. Somehow I knew that. She gives you a tiny smile, nibbling at what looks like and smells like, causing you to salivate. An egg muffin sandwich. Dude. Take that from her right now. Break your skull open, open if you have to. Take that from her. Be right back. You move quicker than you have all week, zipping right out of, over the counter. Please, all the food, all the grease and coffee and extra shots of caffeine in it. Do thing, boss. You, you're, <laughs> your face scrunches up for a moment as you realize your error. The heavy set matronly employee is not too bad in underwear, actually, huh? <laughs> Your stomach growls you back to reality, and you return to the table in Chiasa. Um, wow, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, just... Just forgot how hungry I was. Chiasa lets out a cute little giggle, seemingly content to toy with her phone while waiting for you to finish eating. It doesn't take long, and another dab of suffering to add to your poor, waning spirit. The painkillers aren't much, but they'll do for now. At, le at least I can move around. Phew, much better. Oh, you've got a... She also reaches out and wipes, her ke <laughs> wipes some ketchup off your cheek, smiling shyly. Appreciate it. Thumbs up. Oh, shit. Your cute little smile fills you with a bubbly warmth, and she immediately starts fidgeting. So, um, Yuki said you'd help me. I'm not sure I can. That is, I don't know if I... You worry too much. I'll be glad to join you for the swimming lesson. I'm still learning it, too, to be honest. I mean, I almost drowned. 
is probably why that mermaid tried to come and take me away again. Really? Yeah. Hopefully someday the old teacher will come back and when she's done traveling, her name is Ray. How was she? Really good, and thankfully she taught me a bunch of before we went, before she went. Hopefully enough for me to help you out. I'm in your care then. Ha ha. Chiasa. <laughs> her bow, she bows her head sincerely and you roll your eyes. And I'm in yours. She smiles again, picking up her phone. Oh, am I addressed okay for the pool? No, I mean, yes. Uh, th th that there is a good question. Um, yep, should be good. You're good, you're fine. Do you have a s- Do you have swimwear or, uh, under your clothes? I won't be hopping in myself. Ah, how come? Because at last- last I checked, half my back still looks kind of gross. Pull the muscle earlier, I hate to cramp up in the pool. For a moment, you're bothered by how easily you can beat a lie when you're properly caffeinated and fed. Better than worrying her, though. Shall we hop to it, then? Okay, uh, I've, uh, got a lesson plan that I'll, that I'll go through. I'll memorize. Do you think they'll listen? Of course they will, Chiasa. I mean, hell, they, they paid for it. It's not school. They wouldn't come if they didn't want to learn. Plus, a cute instructor like you will win them over in no time. She fidgets and smiles, and you both head to the pool. When you make it to your destination, Chiasa starts murmuring to herself. Something on your mind? Just going through all the steps to myself. <laughs> your students are all kids. That'll be fine. You slip out of your footwear and start dropping floaties in the pool as you go. Oh, I didn't realize. If you spend too much time worrying about stuff, you'll have a hard time noticing the simple things. Is, is that from experience? I'm a, lost, I'm a law school dropout. Trust me, when I say it's something I wish I'd taken to a heart a lot earlier on. Oh, how did you get from law school to here? I had to realize you didn't know the story. Tomo, she hasn't been here, dude. My grandmother used to own it, own this place, and I dropped out of school because I didn't want to follow my, in Pop's footsteps. So your grandmother gave you a job here. Sort of. You stare at the sloshing water for a while before you hear the pitter-patter of assorted feet. We can continue story time a bit later, Chiasa. It looks like your students are here. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What happened? Well, there's, none, there's all the children. Oh no, she's afraid. They're swarming her. Oh no, <laughs> they're ripping her face off. Oh god! <laughs> you smile and settle onto a chair at poolside, watching her begin. It's probably more enjoyable sight for you than most, seeing as you get to watch an adorable cat girl get swarmed by children. Yes, those words exactly. You do your best not to pass out the moment you're relaxed. Instead, watching Chiasa work. You expect her to panic and struggle to get the children to play along. And it does indeed happen. Wah! Oh no, look, do you see what happens when you do that? <laughs> you're cut off guard by a stern voice from Chiasa, so too is the little boy. Oh my god, that's funny. The little kid slipped and broke his foot. See what happens? You broke your foot. Now I have to replace it. <laughs> She se he seems to have skinned his knee while running around the pool. You sigh and fetch a first aid. While you approach them, Chiasa is watching all the other's unruly students who are intently watching her in return. You hand over the kit and Chiasa confidently wipes the scrape clean, gels it, and puts on a waterproof bandage. No, that's not so bad, is it? The little boy stiffens, not stiffs, not sniffs. That's what it is. He sniffs. I'm like, he's dead. I'm sorry, Chiasa, he's already been dead. I mean, look, he's, rigor mortis is set in already. Grigginly get, gingerly gets back in the pool at supersonic speed, cracks his head open, and that's the end of the, that's the end of that story. It's like a magical spell that has been cast, and all this, all the children do as they're told. Within minutes, Chiasa has them all gently paddling back and forth, smiling brightly. Oh God, it's so bright. Uh, who the hell makes them brush their teeth? Shit, you're having a hard time telling whether you're more relieved or proud. You did a good thing today, Chiasa. Finally, the lesson comes to an end. Chiasa gets changed, or so you assume, and then you get lunch together. So, so, I, so I'm sorry. For what, what for? Someone got hurt! Yeah, because they're a stupid child. Chiasa, do you know how, you know how stupid children are? Because they wouldn't listen to you, and it wasn't anything serious. I think you, oh god. I think you did incredibly well. You're not just saying that. No, children are really dumb. 
extremely stupid. I, I promise, I wouldn't lie for the sake of lying. Friendly, friendly as I try to be, I have to act like the boss too. I mean, you took care of those children very nicely. You have to ease them into the adult, into the responsibility. I mean, they're gonna still do stupid things even when they're an adult, just, you know. You pause and sip your coffee. Well, well sometimes. What's up next? Once, uh, one of my least favorite jobs, something I've been putting off even though I shouldn't have. We need to clean the pool. You don't have someone else to do that. We don't really need someone to just clean the pool. It's not large enough for that. We only have to drain it then. Ah, oh, crap. You bury your head in your hands. What's wrong? It takes a while to drain. I should have started at the moment that lesson finished. I I I'm okay with working later if, th if that's what it takes. I may not be though. Well, if you're sure. That's Sakura. Oh yeah, that's right. She sounds like... What does she sound like? She sounds like the Slaneshi guy. Hey there! At first I thought she was going to be Mickey Mouse, but... I... Alright, okay, when I was doing the voice for her as a Mickey Mouse... <laughs> and I saw her... Um, before when I was buying this game, I was like, oh my god, she's a fucking mouse. How could that... how? You nearly choked your jig when you slapped on the back, slapped on the back by Sakura. <laughs> Ow! Uh. Ouch! Sakura suddenly leans in concerned, looks concerned, and attempts to lift your shirt. Whoa there, hang on. He pulled a muscle. How? Oh, that's gonna be difficult. She thankfully lets you go, takes a seat, taking a seat on the chair. Dancing, actually. Not entirely far from the truth. Sakura gives you a funny look, rubbing her chin. Damn, that's so cute. A cat and a mouse. Mm. <laughs> you, you you shouldn't be so inconsiderate, Sakura. Joss is, <laughs> Joss is surprised at the both of you with a stern pout. And Sakura wilts a little in the response. They're very much a cat and mouse. <laughs> so, sorry I'm not used to seeing Tomo get hurt. Are you okay? Are you okay? Let me just do that. Yes, uh, I didn't. I don't want to worry anyone. Don't worry about it. Just don't hit me. Just don't touch me. All right. <laughs> He's glitter for a moment. She wags her finger. Uh huh. Oh, come on. Ah. That's the exact kind of reason why you lie about your condition, isn't it? What are you bet? What are you basing that off of? Sakura nibbles on her lower lip. It's what the old boss said. Tomo's grandmother? Tomo's grandmother! Sakura's eyes widen and she looks at looks at you. Yeah, I know. I thought she already knew too. Well, you said that you were a, a law school dropout and that your grandmother had you work here. Wait. She also looks between you and Sakura. This doesn't end well, does it? Depends on how you look at things. Your in intuition's right. Sadly, she was sicker than we were. she was willing to admit. She passed away and left the resort to me. And the good part is that you inherited your own resort. She actually looks slightly disgusted. Hey, don't jump to conclusions. It's helping me sort of get along with my father. Though he is, he, it's he helplessly put up your hands. Complicated, if I'm honest. I'll get you there eventually. I'm hoping by, by winter we'll have sort something sorted out. The, sorry, I asked. Sakura leans in and nuzzles his, she has his cheek. Duh, you're still so adorable. Alright. You enjoy the sight of a cat blushing in a mouse while you finish your drink. That's not what you're looking at, Tomo. You know for a fact that's not what that is. Actually, Tomo, I came in and ask came to ask for a favor. Sure, what do you what would that be? Could you take over the the pier for just a teensy while? Maybe. Why? It's been getting really busy now that there's a few people. On the beach. I'm really tired. You glance at Chiasa, shru shrugging. Chiasa, time for you to interact with lots of strangers. You're with me. Chiasa bl blanches slightly before gulping and nodding. Don't forget the pool. Right, right. Sakura, can you set the pool to drain on your way out? Sure thing, boss. 
It gives you a cute smile and flaunts a sexy pose. You're burning. You clear your throat. Mm -hmm. Oh, go on. Get off. Get the hell out of here. 